I love you as well after the first look of uh, gameplay for Dirt Showdown yesterday. I thought I would look at some of the responses. It's certainly been a mixed response from many of you out there, pros and cons and for and against. Uh, I'm going to look at a few new screenshots and then have a chat about some of your feedback as well. Let's take a look at this. Okay, so the first of the new screenshots in here, we can see some of this all very similar from the trailer. We've got the bonnet cam, always a handy view. One probably I'll tend to use quite a bit in my videos. We've got obviously different types of vans, trucks, everything else bashing into each other, nice lighting effects and stuff like that. It's really nice to see how the game has taken form since the early trailer and with such a short development cycle for it. So there's uh, lots going on here, lots of crashing, bashing, action. And I'll be obviously going in a little bit more detail in a moment just of the feedback you guys have been showing as I look at those nice lighting effects as we got some uh, pre-renders here or target renders. Uh, well, they originally render these uh, images if you like to say this is how the game could look if we made it. Um, certainly the technology is not there yet but I, we're just talking about the Xbox Next or whatever it's going to be called. That's what games will be like in a few years time. One thing I notice that's different usually is the gravel is, is never as good. The actual ground textures is something which for me never translates translates as well um, but uh, looking at your feedback the, the the game that people are talking about is you know flat out is, is a comparison to that so I thought you know what I'll record some flat out for you guys uh, have a little look at it and get an idea on what we could possibly expect flat out here arena mode it's good fun but the arena's too big way too big obviously there are a variety of bowls arenas modes everything else and this is the uh which one's this one this is the console version and i've completely forgotten ultimate destruction is it ultimate carnage there we go so flat out ultimate carnage obviously i don't have the pc versions handy so i thought i'd record this one have a little muck about um, the feedback from people in general has been a mixed bag there's those of you that want rally more and the thing is this isn't the rally game this is a a, you know it has the hoonigan modes it has the Jim Carner stuff all the rest of it uh, and it, it essentially it's going to give Codemasters the opportunity to keep everybody happy you know there's going to be people who like all different types of modes and everything else so this isn't to be confused with the rally I see lots of people mentioning WRC uh, stuff like that this is this is this is not a rally game showdown look at the game if anything is showdown not dirt 4 I think dirt 4 or the future of rally with Codemasters has to be uh, something entirely different and I'm sure the developers know that and they get the feedback and they do see the feedback from you guys you know when you're commenting on these YouTube videos or you're commenting on the VV Facebook you know those guys are reading that and they're taking notes on it and everything else and looking at the feedback from the audience I've seen a few people say well it's it's sort of very much about the the US audience and obviously you know games companies want to have growth all the all around the world and WRC and rally stuff may appeal more here and rally cross may appear appeal more in the US I mean here we see uh, one of the race modes in flat out and this is something that would be frustrating here we go oh dear get hit from behind often I was playing this race and I was working my way through and just when you're doing well someone takes you out so it can be a rather frustrating style but you know, people say it's compared to flat out I say no the, the reason why I'm looking forward to this game is actually because I think it compares much more favorably to destruction derby which we'll have a look at in a moment it's funny looking at flat out here and you do see the elements of the new Ridge racer as well in sort of graphical approach to it obviously made by the same developer but actually the game looks very very similar indeed especially given the fact that this game is well what, what year is this game it's a good few years ago now 2007 so five years old this year obviously lighting has moved forward and everything else but it certainly retains a similar style to it so I take completely the wrong route here and get blocked off and let's just say it ended badly for me there so that was a uh, good fun but destruction derby let's check this out So the selection of the three cars, the classic music, the classic tunes. Now when people say, you know, Alan looks excited about Dirt Showdown, it's because I know the potential of Dirt Showdown is what we see here. It's Destruction Derby. And some people would get frustrated with this for the similar reason. I was playing Destruction Derby and every time I was getting anywhere I'd spin out. The cars handled terrible in Destruction Derby. But 
essentially that's the point of them the cars are rubbish cars and you have to keep them going in the right way and you know avoiding trouble and knowing when to attack a car and when not to attack a car knowing when you can essentially tip a car into a spin but you don't want to block yourself off at the same time back in the day this game was graphically mind blow absolutely mind blowing and it was one of the first games that had no pop-up as well it rendered all the scenery in one go and a massive technical achievement and a lot of fun to play on the different circuits and again this had you know figure of eight circuits it had all kinds of sort of uh, you know w relatively well designed circuits of narrow sections wide sections everything else would bunch everybody up and it was always close racing with a large field there lots and lots of cars so lots of carnage lots of action lots of potential and so when i look at dirt showdown i see this potential so we won't really know until we get hands on what it's going to play like what the modes are going to be like it's an arcade fun game and it's not to be taken as anything more seriously than that so i certainly look forward to uh, hands-on in the coming weeks and responding to as many questions as you guys have if you have questions about the game do continue to uh, comment on the uh, particular on facebook if you can uh, and that way i can get those comments together and put those to developers or at least investigate some of the issues myself you can see the pack shots as well there so not long now just a few months until this latest iteration of the dirt franchise there's no doubt it's going to look brilliant it's going to be a lot of fun to play and i think that between now and the next dirt game at least the next rally game you know it gives you something to play in the coming months certainly a busy year for racing games and this is no exception as for destruction derby i'll be hoping to uh, i'm looking to do a, a video on that in more detail as we do some retro reviews in the future but that's it from me for now so that's it for another Dirt video. Uh, we'll be showing a lot more Dirt Showdown hopefully in the coming weeks along with hands-on gameplay videos, everything else. So there's going to be loads of coverage to come. But that's it from now forever from me and I'll be seeing you again real soon.